New at five, two sources of local PFAS contamination could be added to a list of the nation's most toxic places. They have been plaguing the environment in Kent County for years. And our Doug Reardon is live in Rockford to tell us why this isn't necessarily a bad thing, even though it may sound like one. Doug? Yeah, Max Janice, you certainly don't want to have in your city a place that is on the list of the most toxic places in America. The Wolverine Worldwide Tannery site behind me is getting awfully close because underneath it in the ground are those dangerous toxic chemicals known as PFAS chemicals. Some people call them forever chemicals. So now this site and a site up the road, a dump that is also owned by Wolverine Worldwide, are up for designation as Superfund sites with the EPA. And like you said, it's certainly not a good thing but it could also be the beginning of a permanent solution. I think of this as like broccoli, like nobody likes broccoli. There's no one in the world who wants to eat broccoli, but we know it's good for you. So you kind of have to, you know, stomach it. And a super fun site is the same thing. Nobody wants a super fun site, but I think what it does is it opens up some additional resources. It opens up some more scrutiny so that we can be sure that this is done correctly. Sandy Winstell, co-chair of the Great Lakes PFAS Action Network, says she's optimistic about two Wolverine worldwide locations crawling with PFAS now being considered for the designation of super fun sites. There are thousands of super fun sites around the country marking places with the worst contingency contamination in America. The old Wolverine tannery site on Main Street and the company's old dump site on House Street in Plainfield Township, where they dumped the toxic PFAS chemicals for years in the 1960s, are now being studied by the EPA. Sandy lives right across the street from the old dump site. I think it speaks more to the need to make sure that we are managing chemicals a lot better than this so that other communities aren't going to be facing this 10 years down the road. But she has to be patient. The process of adding sites to the Superfund list sometimes can take years. So this is a process. This is truly a very long ultra marathon, not a sprint. And Guy Sandy also says that while the EPA at the federal level is investigating this and looking into whether or not it should be designated as a Superfund site, work will also continue at the local and state level because Eagle, the state agency in charge of this, also has a partnership with Wolverine to do more cleanup while this is going on. Live in Rockford today, Doug Reardon, Fox 17 News.